Hello students and welcome back to the channel Learn for Dreams. Today we will see what is computer graphics. Computer graphics deals with the generation of a two-dimensional or three-dimensional models of an object using a graphic software or an application software. This computer graphics software should be interactive and dynamic. Now let's see what are two dimensional computer graphics. Two dimensional computer graphics deals with the generation of two dimensional model of an object using a two dimensional modeling software. Example of two dimensional computer graphics software is AutoCAD and CADIAN. The 2D model objects are points, lines, polylines, curves and circles. Then what is three dimensional computer graphics? Three dimensional computer graphics deals with the generation of three dimensional model of an object using three dimensional modeling software. The three dimensional modeling softwares are SOLIDWORKS, CATIA and CREO. Now basic 3D model objects are cube, cylinder, cone and sphere. Now let's discuss applications of computer graphics. Computer graphics has a wide range of applications from art, entertainment, business, education to science, engineering and medical applications. Now let's see two types of CAD CAM softwares. First one is graphic software. The graphic software is the collection of program written so as to operate computer graphics system. Now what it includes? It includes generation of image on the screen, manipulation of the image and accomplish interaction between user and the system. Now let's see more about application software. The application software is the collection of program written implementing certain specialized functions related to CAD CAM. Now it includes programs for FEA that is finite element analysis, CNC machining and automated process planning. Okay. Now let's see functions of graphic software. Starting with the generation of graphic elements, we have seen which 2D or 3D objects are, right? The second one is transformation. There are five types of transformations. We will see in the next videos. Next is display control and windowing functions. Then segmenting functions. And the last one is user input functions. Next is window and viewport. Here in the left picture, we can see that there is one picture which is a complete object or uske coordinate system ko kehte hai, model coordinate system. Then right wale picture mein, we can see there is only a small part of a original picture. Hum keh sakte hai ki original picture se part crop kiya hai, right? Then the new coordinate system is called as user coordinate system. Or is it viewport? Hai? So this was all about computer graphics. Hope you enjoyed learning. For more such informative videos, subscribe to the channel, learn for dreams, and don't forget to hit the bell icon.